Hello world, Kirk Henderson. I'm talking about my true story about my baby mama, baby scam. Can you believe this world? I stuck by my baby mama, Veronica Robinson, all the way through the whole nine months. She have the baby. They create a whole lot of problems. Now the adopted mother is involved. So guess what this low life baby mama do to me? I'm talking about Veronica Robinson. So she used this excuse that she got some type of problem. So guess what this slumbag do? I'm just gonna call it just the way I see it. So now she she flip it and she give my daughter full legal authority guardianship to her crazy ass psychopath adopted mother and now this adopted mother is running and hiding though it's if this is her blood kid and this woman won't even pick up the phone and let me talk to my daughter now i'm living in houston they are living in california when i was out there i mean i went to court i did all that stuff i had my rights i did everything check this out they put a hit out on my life i mean it was just a whole lot of problems dealing with these crazy ass people who only thought about themselves and i'm just telling my story just the way it happened so they put a hit out on my life and I got so tired of dealing with these crazy people. You know, they, they just did not make any sense at all. All they wanted, everything, all to themselves. Trisha Robinson, scheming and scamming, conniving. And, ooh, this woman is a dog. Patricia Robinson. This woman will do anything to mess over a good man. Then you turn around and claim that you are a Christian? Wow, how could you be a Christian sitting up in a church at Purpose Church in Pomona, California, claiming to be a Christian and you the biggest, wickedest, craziest psychopath there is taking me and kids and only using his kid for a check everything is only for your benefit so now i'm dealing with some some stupid crazy people for 11 years i have not heard from veronica robinson and patricia robinson now once they they scammed me out of my kid i left california because my life was at danger and I got so tired of dealing with these crazy people. I mean, I had my rights, everything to see my kid. But I left California because my life was at danger. But I was still communicating and calling, calling these people. Guess what they did? So now they run and hide. Now they move from the old address they was located at. So now they stop answering the telephone. So now they changes their telephone number. So now they move to a new address. I mean, they just running, running, running and hiding. I mean, this is so crazy. I mean, you got a baby mama, Veronica Robinson. Now all she do, I'm just going to keep it real, is, is whole around out there in Marina Valley, California. She jumps around from man to man to man. And this is all Patricia Robinson want this 33-year-old woman to do. I mean, at a time like this, with all those diseases out there, I mean, you got all this STD, this HPV, I mean, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. I mean, you got all this stuff going on out there. And you got Patricia Robinson. All she want this woman to do is just hoe around and just not be serious with nobody and all she want is a baby so guys out there in marina valley california if you run across veronica jewel robinson out in marina valley california you better run as fast as you can 
And if you see this crazy ass woman, Patricia Robinson, this woman is a witch. You mess around and get that crazy woman pregnant, wow. They will turn on you so fast, mess your life up. They don't make any sense with nothing that they do. It's all about how they can manipulate and how they can just screw up your life. I mean, all they gotta do is just do the right thing and call me up and let me talk to my daughter. What's so wrong about that? Well, you know what's wrong with it? It's just a bunch of crazy people. I mean, I know Alexa is looking like and trying to figure out what's really going on, but these people scammed me and they used me for a baby when they could have easily gone to a sperm bank and did whatever they had to do to get themselves a baby and not even worry about no man being involved. But they just took a, a, a terrible route and, and now you got a father involved and now they running and hiding, scamming child support, collecting child support. I mean, it should be a crime, especially when a woman scams child support for a check and you're getting all this money for years and years and years and you not even allowing the baby or the kid to talk to her father? I mean, that should be a crime, really a big crime against Patricia Robinson and Veronica Robinson. I feel like they are in this together. You think about it. They are collecting child support and are running and hiding. Now they stealing the money and they, they are not giving Alexa no allowances. I mean, they are dogging poor little Alexa out. Patricia Robinson, she have brainwashed Veronica Robinson. Patricia Robinson also have, and she's trying to brainwash Alexa Henderson. This woman got these people so scared and so afraid. Patricia Robinson is a psychopath. And one day, the good Lord is going to say, enough is enough. You just don't go around pretending to be a Christian and you're mistreating and you're dogging people out. I'm talking about good, genuine people. I mean, I never knew it was so many scam artists until I went to California years ago. And to the surprise of my life, I mean, every which way I turned, it was nothing but scam artists out in California. I'm just gonna keep it real. I had some bad experience. I mean, I can tell you guys some stories about some scams that was going on out there in California. I mean, this stuff will really blow your mind. I mean, you have to really be careful out there in California, pretty much anywhere, but really in California. And if you're going there for the first time, you better keep your eyes open because there's some, there's some desperate people out there. And they will scam you in a minute. But this Patricia Robinson, this woman here, now guess what, world? I realized that her mother, Patricia Robinson's mother, lives in Cypress, Texas. Now, they be coming to Cypress, Texas, say about 45 minutes away from Houston. But guess what? They be hiding out and they still won't contact me. They come close to Houston and they won't even contact me and let Alexa talk to her father or see her father. And these crazy people are, are getting child support. I mean, this woman got people living here in Houston and they've been coming to Houston to Cypress, Texas to visit their folks. Look how cold they are. They won't even contact me to tell me that's not right. So now I'm looking at, okay, so these people, they just do not have any intentions of doing the right thing. 
So their whole life story is about conning and scamming. What they can get out of it, they don't care how they hurt you. You might as well hang that up. I mean, they just don't care. Now, I look at it like this now. Okay, this whole scamming thing got started now. Veronica was five years old. And guess what her crazy ass blood mother did to Veronica Robinson? I'm going to show you a picture of Veronica Robinson crazy ass blood mother and you can understand why that this woman did what she did to Veronica Robinson so now Veronica is keeping it in the family take a good look at Veronica Robinson blood mother this woman took Veronica Robinson to Hawaii when she was five years old and dumped Veronica Robinson out in Hawaii and left her there. This girl was five years old and this grown ass woman, Veronica's mother, left her out there. So it so really it explains it all why she don't have any feelings about her her baby, her own daughter. So in other words, Veronica is doing exactly the same thing what her blood mother did to her so Veronica turn around and do the same thing to our daughter you see what I'm saying so once people are locked in into a lot of crazy stuff they do not know how to break the pattern so now it becomes a habit of things I mean everything they touch it's about what happened to them so now Veronica, blood mother, never cared about her, didn't show any concern about her. She never knew who her real father was. I mean, he just made a baby and he disappeared. I mean, if you take one good look at, at, at this mother, I can understand why, but from my understanding, when I was living in Moreno Valley, California, when I was living out in that area in Palm Spring, Veronica told me a whole lot about her blood mother. And this woman was, she just wasn't right. She didn't care about Veronica. I mean, for her to just dump her five-year-old daughter in Hawaii and just dump her and leave her there I mean, that's cold. That's cold-blooded. I mean, you hear this kind of story all the time, but you would have never thought that it would have, you know, like, lined it up with someone that you know. I never thought I would hear a true life story of someone that I got involved with. So you got these crazy people, and all this crazy stuff is going on, so they don't know how to break that pattern of things. So now, this Gramanda, Amanda Rose Lee now, this woman was living in Patricia Robinson's home, let's say, what, about 12, 13 years ago. Now this, this, this woman was 14 during the time. I mean, she was raping a four-year-old baby boy in Patricia Robinson's home. Patricia Robinson didn't do anything about that, but now I'm gonna show a picture of this Magna Rose Lee. Now, from my understanding, she was living out in Atlanta, Georgia, Magna Rose Lee, but once you molest a four-year-old boy, you are tagged as being a child molester. So you're always a child molester. And I cannot believe that Patricia Robinson allowed it, this type of stuff to go on in that home. She didn't report it. She didn't tell CPS about it. I mean, far as I'm concerned, Patricia Robinson was a part of this stuff. And seriously, something needs to be done about this. I mean, that, that right there, it's not right. 
So now you can see why Trish Robinson is just, she just don't give a damn. Her lifestyle, she just don't care. I mean, you look at, she had a child molester living in the home molesting a four-year-old baby boy. Okay. She conned my baby mother out of our baby. Okay. Now she's collecting all this money off the baby, off my kid, off of Veronica. I mean, she's collecting money every which way. I mean, this woman is a stone cold con artist. So now, world, you see what I'm dealing with here. So I just wanted to show the pictures of these people. Veronica's blood mother, she don't give a damn. She acts just like Veronica. I mean, she don't care nothing about her. Veronica don't even know who her blood father is. She don't know. And look, she do the same thing to her baby now. She take her, her daughter totally away from her blood father. And now you got this old crazy ass adopted grandmother misusing the system, dogging the system, scamming the system. Everything is about a check. And she don't give a damn about nobody but just herself. This Patricia Robinson don't care about nobody. Patricia Robinson got to be crazy, especially when she spammed YouTube, let's say a year ago, just because I was telling my true story and the word was getting out there. So she wanted to hide everything so she spammed the world. You know, Patricia Robinson spammed the world and then she tell them all on the code, baby. Don't click on Patricia Robinson. I mean, she spammed everybody. And if you look at all these people that she spammed, they talk about the same thing. Don't, don't click on Patricia Robinson. Oh, she's a hoax. Oh, she's a scam artist. She's a spam artist. Oh, don't click on her. That crazy woman. You, I mean, you hear him talk. Just Google up. Spammer, Patricia Robinson. I mean, it got thousands of people talking about this crazy ass Patricia Robinson. So I'm not the only one who are talking about Patricia Robinson. The whole wide world is talking about this scandalous ass Patricia Robinson. And this woman ain't no good. Patricia Robinson ain't no good. It's just in her blood to misuse dog folks out, do all kind of crazy things. Check this out, world. Now she are exposed. From time to time, she creates a fake YouTube page. And as she starts trying to comment on my page on the cool, with a different name she opened up she got a fresh brand new page she creates and then she tries to comment to me on the code you know like say something like uh patricia robinson oh she's cute and you know damn well this woman ain't cute but anyway what, what i'm saying here is is once she tried to get in on my page with the comment and then on the code she thinks she can go back in and then re-edit the comment and say all kind of crazy ignorant stuff and try to flip everything around. You know what I'm saying? This is the kind of thing that a psychopath would do. They, they play a lot of mind games, a whole lot of mind games. But I instantly caught on, so I'm, I'm smart enough to, okay, this bitch just created this YouTube page. She don't have no subscribers, you know what I mean? She don't have nobody. She, she just uploaded one or two videos. You see what I'm saying? And so I catch on that this is Patricia Robson coming out the bag in another cool, slick way. But I saw right through it. I just kindly blocked that bitch out. So now I'm looking to see Patricia Robinson try and create another fake page. <laughs> I mean, this story is hitting home worldwide, baby. 
And this psychopath, she can't stand it. She cannot stand it that now she are being exposed worldwide. I mean, I mean, I mean you look at it like this. This have got to be a psychopath. I mean, this woman won't even just, hey, look, you know, I'm all over the internet. This man been talking about this stuff for years and you won't even come out the bag and just say, hey, I apologize for what I did to you. This is your blood kid. I've been running and hiding. Please forgive me on hands and knees. Please forgive me. Not in a million years, you will not hear an apology from Patricia Robinson. With all those people that she spammed and scammed with all that spamming, this low life woman will never apologize to nobody because that's not in her nature to apologize to nobody. If anything, she will get off on her own stupidity and how she can abuse, misuse, and hurt people. Patricia Robinson, that bitch ain't no good. And I'm just telling it just the way it is. Woman ain't no good. So all this stuff that she do, she ain't no good. Now, Veronica Robinson, she know what she be doing. This woman is working hand to hand with Patricia Robinson with all this conniving and scheming. Now she done turned over, over my daughter to Patricia Robinson. And now she's like, okay, I don't have anything to do with it. Now, my adopted grandmother is dealing and handling with everything. I don't have nothing to do with that. So now, your daughter is Patricia Robinson. This is something that Veronica Robinson would say. Due to my situation, your daughter belongs to my adopted grandmother, to my adopted mother. Now, I didn't give this crazy ass woman no consent. You know what I mean? So in other words, they frauded everything. I mean, they did it all. And Alexa, you should know what's going on. These some scandalous ass people. I know you hate to hear me talk about your mother, but your mother, your blood mother, she ain't no good. The way she did you at birth, Veronica Robinson ain't no good. You go back and listen to all those videos. I've been talking about this stuff for 11 years. You go back and you listen to the video, you'll see me talking about this stuff. Your blood mother, Veronica Robinson, she ain't no good. You was brought into a messed up situation with some crazy people. And Patricia Robinson, this woman is a witch. And one day, this stuff is going to turn around on this witch. She think her shit don't stink. The good Lord is probably already dealing with her, but she runs and hides, and all of a sudden she'll break out and, and create another fake YouTube page. She might start spamming again. Every now and then she she, she, she come out the bag with a new little page <laughs> and think on the cool that she gonna leave a nice comment, then turn around and try to flip it. <laughs> what I mean, she tries to flip it you know, when, when she think everybody's asleep or something like that, and then she start re-editing her comment and then create a messed up comment, just all kind of crazy stuff off the wall. See, that goes to show you where her mind is. She thinks she's smarter than, than everybody, but most of the time this psychopath get caught in her act. Every time she try to pull something real slick and scandalous, she get caught right in her track. <laughs> this Patricia Robinson is a bag of tricks, baby. She ain't no good. I mean, you might be out there in California, but you're not Hollywood, baby. You're not Hollywood. So you might as well get that through your scandalous ass mind. You're not Hollywood, Patricia Robinson. You haven't made it to Hollywood, and you never will make it to Hollywood. With all that scheming and scamming, you'll never make it to Hollywood, baby. But anyway, I'll be making another video real soon. But I just had to show a picture of these crazy people. If you see these people out in Marina Valley, California, you better run and hide as fast as you can. 
So now I know Patricia Robinson got folks in Cyprus, Texas. She been coming out here to Houston, but Cyprus is like about 45 minutes away from Houston. But guess what? She still be hiding out. This woman got folks out here and be hiding out and she still won't come around and let Alex holler at her dad. But anyway, hey, I'm sharing the story. Alexa, you be good. I know it's a lot of things you don't want to hear, but it is what it is. I didn't create this problem. Your scandalous mom created this problem. And that crazy ass psychopath, Patricia Robinson. So you're going to have to learn how to live with this stuff, Alexa, because you are stuck with the crazy family, Patricia and Veronica. These people are scam artists. They don't give a damn about nobody but their self. And I'm telling you just the way it is, I got scammed going on 12 years with these people. And they just don't care. So anyway, Alexa, keep your head up. I guess you're gonna have to try to be strong and o overcome all this stuff and try to be strong. And you're just gonna have to look at both sides of the story because these are some crazy people. And you probably already know that by now. But anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Hey world, y'all take care. Please like and share. Tell all your friends about this scandalous woman out in Reno Valley, California, Riverside, California, LA, wherever. Just share the word because this stuff is not right, especially when you got a adopted grandmother misusing, abusing, child support, stealing people, kids, running and hiding, doing all kind of scandalous stuff. Tasha Robinson ain't right. I'm sharing my true story. And it's not right, Patricia Robinson. It's not right. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace. I'm out, baby. Okay, bye.